You know those people who are always like, just wait, you'll never sleep again, just wait, just wait. What are they trying to accomplish? I'm not a superstitious person. Of course, that's exactly what a superstitious person would say. But early on when the baby came home, I would say something like, oh good, she's asleep, or oh look, she's happy, and immediately, like seconds later, be proved wrong. So since then, sort of as a joke, I've been like knocking on wood all the time before saying anything like, oh, she slept really well last night, or oh, it looks like I got her down. But honestly, she has been a really good baby, um, and we are getting a little bit better at reading her signs and figuring out how to give her what she needs. Knock on wood. But I'm realizing, like, I don't want to miss out on all of the good stuff that she's doing and all of the good times we're having because I'm worried about it ending or about her regressing. Like, yeah, it's not going to be great all the time. Sometimes she's going to sleep through the night and sometimes she's not, but I have to be able to enjoy it when it happens. So like a few times lately, I've laid her down in the crib and she's woken up like as soon as I lay her down, right? But then she will actually calm down and fall asleep on her own, you know? And self-soothing is this difficult skill and it seems like maybe she's catching on, you know? Last night is a really good example. I put her down at 9 and she woke up at 6 in the morning. She was asleep for 9 hours. My husband and I got some time together and then like 7 hours of sun solid uninterrupted sleep. That's not gonna happen tonight again, I'm sure. You know, that's not the kind of thing that suddenly becomes your normal at 2 months old. But there's no reason why I can't absolutely enjoy the fact that that happened that one night, that today I felt rested, that I was able to, you know, go to work, know that she was safe and happy with my husband, and I stopped at Target on the way home. It was a good day, and I'm trying to allow myself to accept the good things, to be appreciative of the good things, and to not constantly be thinking, well, what's going to happen next time? Oh, it's not going to stay that way, because it's not going to stay that way, but let's worry about tomorrow when tomorrow comes, you know? I guess that's really all I wanted to say, that we have a pretty good baby. I've been afraid to brag for fear that she's going to stop being a good baby as soon as I say it, but she is a good baby. She sleeps pretty well during the night. She doesn't wake up too often. She can consistently sleep at least three hours at night, sometimes up to five, seven, nine hours. Um, and yeah, I'm very, very grateful that we have a good kid. They say the, uh, the oldest is often a, an easy baby to trick you into having a second kid. So we'll see when uh, our family grows. But for now, we're very excited <laughs> to have uh, a good little sleeper. She's probably not going to stay that way forever, but that's okay. Babies change, and I don't want to keep just waiting for things to get worse. So I'm going to enjoy it while it lasts. So that's it. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below and I will see you in the next video.